this short video, I'll be showing you how to customize an invoice template inside Xero. Often, our customers ask us how to make an invoice more personalized so that it doesn't just look like the standard template out of Xero. Xero allows for a lot of customization on your invoice, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's jump in. In order to change the way your invoice looks, we need to get into the invoice settings. To get to invoice settings, we click on the company name up in the top left. We go to settings and then invoice settings. Once we're inside invoice settings, we're going to choose a new branding theme. You see there's a little arrow on the right hand side of that button. We're going to choose a custom .docx. We're going to call this my fancy invoice. Okay, so you can see at the top there, we've got the standard invoice template. Down here, we've got my fancy invoice template. You'll see here a familiar looking logo with the .docx. And what we can do is download the templates that are inside Xero into a Word format that we can then edit on our computer. So we've just downloaded the zip file the zip file that we downloaded contains a template for a credit note, an invoice, a purchase order, a quote, and a statement. These are all the things that you can edit inside Word to put your own branding on. Let's open up the invoice. So here we go. We're in the familiar environment of Microsoft Word. We can see the template layout. For those of you familiar with Word, it looks something very similar to a mail merge document. And inside here, we've got full flexibility. If you want to change the settings, if you want to change the font, if you want to change the color, um, literally anything you can imagine. You could, you could drop in some Word art if that was your thing to, to make your business um, stand out. The key thing is though, um, be very careful changing anything that has these double parentheses around it. When you see these double brackets around a particular word, it means it's a merge field that Xero is going to be using to put invoice specific data inside the invoice as it's sent. Anything that doesn't contain those parentheses around it is a heading or is a static piece of text that will stay the same inside your invoice template. It gives you some ideas, like if you've uploaded your logo into Xero, the logo will be inserted here, or you could remove that field and put in a standard logo inside this Word field, inside this Word document and upload it. Given that your logo will stay the same on every invoice, it's, it's pretty common to just insert your logo here rather than use it as a merge field. Once we're happy with all the adjustments we've made to the invoice layout, I mean, you could, Drop, as we said before, you could drop in word art, drop in icons, drop in your own logo, put some colors into it, depending on whatever you think your invoices need to have that personalization on it. Then we close it, we save our changes. Let's just put that on the desktop. I keep invoice fancy, just so we can find exactly the one we're looking for. We then go back into Xero and we upload the invoice that we just created. Open inside there, invoice, upload. Now, let's just have a look at how we would implement this. Let's go to the, our sales invoices by going business and then invoices. Let's go into our demo invoice. Here you'll notice the branding theme was previously standard. Let's edit this invoice. Inside branding, we can now select my fancy invoice. And that's how you customize an invoice template as much as you like inside Xero.